talking about EC2 image builder it is used to automate the creation of virtual machines or container images it automates the creation maintenance validate and test EC2 AMS can be run on a schedule weekly whenever packages are updated etc it is a free service only pay for the underlying resources now let's look on uh, to for a hands-on search for EC2 builder image builder create an image pipeline enter pipeline uh, name uh, my demo pipeline so uh, first of all uh, this is how what the process of EC2 image builder looks like you create a builder instance then a EMI test EC2 instance then EMI is distributed across multiple regions search for EC2 image builder create image pipeline enter the pipeline is name as uh, my demo pipeline in build schedule select manual click next click create new recipe select amazon machine image enter name my demo recipe enter version 1.0.0 .0 .0. So in build schedule select manual, click next, then in recipe uh, select create new recipe, in image type select Amazon machine image, uh, enter the name uh, my demo recipe, enter the version uh, 1.0.0. Select managed images, select Amazon Linux 2, select quick start amazon managed in image arn select amazon linux 2 x86 select uh, use the latest available os version uh, for auto versioning options so select managed images select amazon uh, linux 2 in image operating system then in uh, image arn select amazon linux 2 x86 and not ARM 64 then in auto versioning uh, options use the latest available OS version in build components Amazon Linux select Amazon Coretta level uh, 11 headless used for Java and in next page select AWS CLI version 2 Linux reorder the selected component if you want by dragging click next select create a new infrastructure option so select Amazon Coretta level 1 headless it is used for uh, installing Java then select AWS CLI version to Linux you can see it is on page 2 so you have to go to page 2 first then you can drag and drop whatever you want to install first it doesn't really matter uh, next uh, you would select uh, uh, just click on next then infrastructure option uh, configuration select create a new infrastructure configuration in IMA role click create new role and open new tab go to roles click create role select AWS service select EC2 click next permissions in op policy search search for uh, EC2 instance profile for image builder select EC2 instance profile for image builder and EC2 instance profile for image builder ECR container builds then search for Amazon SSM managed instance core click select it as well click next uh, tags click next review so uh, once you do this uh, click on create new role so it will open in a new tab click create role 
select AWS service and also select EC2 in common use cases click next permissions then search for EC2 instant profile for image builder select both profile for image builder as well as profile for image builder ECR container builds then search for Amazon SSM managed instance core select it as well then click next tags click next review uh, then uh, yeah I think I'll come back to this 31 enroll name enter ec2 instance profile for image builder click create role go back to ec2 image builder where you left off select create a new infrastructure configuration in name uh, my demo infra in ima role select ec2 instance for image builder in aws infrastructure in instance type select t2 micro click next in builds uh, distribution settings uh, select uh, create distribution settings using user default click next and then click create pipeline so give our uh, role name as ec2 instance profile for image builder click create role then select create a new infrastructure configuration I in IMA role select ec2 instance profile for image builder uh, then in instance type select T2 micro then click next uh, select create distribution settings using service defaults click next click create pipeline click on your pipeline that is uh, my demo pipeline click action run pipeline click view details click on the output image overall pipeline execution can take 30 plus minute wait until the status is building now go to ec2 instance in new tab you should see a build instance and go to previous tab uh, wait till the status status is testing for the my demo recipe now if you go back to ec2 instance and refresh you will see that build instance is terminated test instance is running next the test instance is also terminated so select your my demo pipeline next click action run pipeline uh, you we'll see the status is enabled now if you click uh, go to output images you have to click on your uh, ami which is like 1.0.0 slash .0 1 then it opens this the status is building this might take around 30 plus minutes so uh, once the status is building you have to go to uh, your instances and check you can see the ec2 instance is running now come back to the previous page and wait for a few more minutes overall pipeline execution can take 30 plus minutes now the status is testing now if you go, go back to your ec2 instance again you can see that the build instance is terminated test instance, instance is running after some time when you go back over here again I think once the status is available for my demo recipe and if you come back over here again back to EC2 instance you can see that both uh, test instance and build instance are uh, terminated. Go to my demo recipe and status should be available ok. Go to EC2 instance and click launch instance give name as test from EMI. EMI select my image select owned by me select my demo recipe select instance type ht to micro in key pair name proceed without a key pair uh, for network settings click edit select uh, uh, select existing security group select launch wizard one click launch instance so 
so you here you can see that uh, the status is available i have gone back to my ec2 uh, e instances and you can see both of them are terminated i'll click on uh, i think i will click on launch instance I'll give it as a name test from ami uh, in my ami is owned by me select my demo recipe key pair law instance type should be t2 micro for free usage key pair name uh, select proceed without a key pair though it is not recommended but it is okay for our usage uh, in network settings click edit uh, then select launch wizard in se select first select existing security group and then select launch wizard one in select uh, security groups then click on launch instance go back to ec2 instance and once your instance is running select it and click connect select ec2 instance connect uh, enter username as ec2 user click connect and you can check if java and aws cli was installed by running java dash dash version first and then running aws dash dash version now go to your instance and select uh, select it and terminate by clicking instance state go to your amis select your ami click actions click deregister EMI, go to snapshots, select it, click actions, delete snapshot. You can delete the pipeline as well, but it was as it was manual, it won't run on its own. So select your EC2 instance. Uh, click connect it will be uh, for username enter ec2 dash user click connect it would open then enter java dash dash version aws dash dash version then you can again go back to ec2 instance select it instance type instance state sorry click on terminate instance then go to ami select it click actions deregister ami Then go to snapshot, select it, go to actions, delete snapshot. So yeah, that's it for today's video. Thank you for watching. Bye.